Hello, kindergartners. It's Miss Lessard. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. I first want to wish a happy birthday to Spencer. Yay, Spencer. And I want to sing for you, of course. And everyone else sing with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Spencer. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Are you six? I'm going to guess you're going to say stop. And when we get back to school, you will get your crown and you will go in my treasure chest and get your pencil and all your other little goodies. So I can't wait we get back to celebrate with you. Uh, very exciting. I hope you have a fantastic day. All right, so today... We would have no special, which means it's Fun Friday. And in honor of Fun Friday, when you're done all your work today, you get to play something of your choice at your house for 15 minutes. Uh, my only request is that you surprise mom and dad and clean up after, put it all away, make it look super nice. So mom and dad will be like, what, what's going on? Be like, well, it's Fun Friday. I had my playtime and now I'm cleaning up for you. I think they'll love that. Okay, so just another reminder, 10 o'clock, pick something from the reading menu, pick something from the writing menu, outdoors if you can, uh, math menu, then craft menu. Um, go on YouTube. I'd love for you to watch Jack Hartman today. Plug in Jack Hartman. Watch Subitize and math. You Show mom and dad how good you are in Subitize, how you can like whip out those numbers, okay? Or count by tens or by fives. On, just plug in Jack Hartman. You're going to get all the videos that we know and know and love. All right, so question of the day. Task is to play. You've got it made today. Question of the day. Oh, I already know the answer to many of you. Do you have any brothers or sisters? And what are their names? Oh, I don't know if I know all their names. So that's a good one. I have a brother. His name is Brian. And I have a half-sister named Sandy and a half-brother named Steve. And that's, that's my family. Okay. In honor of Spencer, today I am reading Franklin's Birthday Party. It is through Scholastic, so I do have permission to read it. And it will be deleted on June 30th. 2020 or before um let's see i wonder if there's going to be a magic page we'll have to look i've been, have been forgetting to look there's franklin with his birthday hat and the cake and the balloons and this is the cover and this is the i'm hoping you're saying it right now that cover and these are based on characters created by paulette burgoyce and brenda clark so they would be the authors and the illustrator what does the author do Hoping you're saying writes the words. And what does the illustrator do? Well, I'm hoping you say illustrates or draws the pictures. Okay, Franklin's birthday party. Let's see. I hope it's a good one, just like Spencer's. Oh, the title page is really cool. Look at that. It's Franklin. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He knew the days of the week and the months of the year. Soon it would be his birthday. Franklin was counting the days to the best birthday party ever. There he is on the calendar, just like us on the calendar. Just like us on calendar. Franklin looked at the photos in his family album. Last year, I had a treasure hunt for my birthday, he said. And the year before that, I had a costume party. Do you know what I want to do this? Do you know what you want to do this year, asked his mother. I'm not sure, Franklin replied. But it's going to be the best party ever. The next day, Franklin invited all of his friends to his birthday. What are you doing at your party, asked Bear. Oh, I don't know yet, answered Franklin, but I want to do something really fun. Here's all his friends. Franklin's friends had lots of ideas. How about mini golf, said Snail, or bowling, suggested Fox. Water slides are fun, said Goose. I like squirt tags, said Badger. Well, they got good ideas. Franklin said, these were all great ideas, but you'll have to choose, Franklin, insisted Beaver. We can't do everything. Franklin thought for a moment. We can if we go to Tamarack Play Park, he replied. They have everything there. Everyone was excited. Well, it's kind of like fun town for us, I think. 
Franklin ran home, told his parents the good news. Tamarack Play Park will be lots of fun, agreed his father. Well, I've already invited one, Franklin announced. Oh, gee, her and his mother. Franklin's parents explained the problem. Well, Tamarack Play Park's expensive, Franklin, said his father. We can only take two of your friends. Oh, Franklin felt terrible. His mother gave him a hug. I'm sure your other friends will understand. Franklin wasn't so sure. Franklin didn't play with his friends for the rest of the day. He stayed in his room and thought about his party. He really wanted to go to Tamarack Play Park, but how could he pick just two of his friends? What would he tell the others? Franklin sighed. This was not going to be the best birthday ever. Wow, he's in a dilemma. At supper that night, Franklin told his parents that he wanted everyone at his party. Well, you can have all your friends if your party's in the backyard, his mother suggested. But there's so much to do at Tamarack Play Park, said Franklin. Too bad we just can't bring Tamarack to our backyard, left his father. Hmm, thought Franklin. Maybe we can. Oh, I wonder what his idea is. Franklin and his parents were busy all that week. They spent lots of time in the tool shed in the basement in the outside yard. They made trips to the hardware store, to the party shop. Franklin didn't tell them anything they were doing. What do you think they're doing? What do you think, guys? Mm-hmm, that's what I think, too. By noon on Saturday, all of Franklin's friends had arrived for the party. We're going to Tamarack, asked Bear. Well, we're not, answered Franklin. Well, what do you mean, demanded Beaver. Franklin took a deep breath. He explained, well, I wanted all of you at my party finished, so follow me. They're confused. Franklin led the way to the backyard. Welcome to Turtle Play Park, he announced. Wow, said everyone. Look at all the work, look what he did. Created a little park there, that's so cool. All afternoon, Franklin and his friends played mini golf, lawn bowling. They ran through the sprinkler. They slid down the slide onto the pond. They played squirt tag, pin the tail on the turtle. There was lots of food and games and prizes. Wow, that looks like fun. Soon it was time for cake and ice cream. Everyone gathered around Franklin and sang happy birthday with loud and cheerful voices. Afterward, Franklin opened his gifts and each one was just right. I bet he's just happy to have his friends there. When all his friends had gone home, Franklin thanked his parents. Was it the best birthday party ever, they asked him. Sure it was, said Franklin. Then he grinned, until next year. The end. Clap if you like it. It was such a good book. I loved it. And I'm sure when all this is said and done, we're going to have lots of birthday parties. All right. Also today, I am going to pick, because it's fun Friday, put all your names in here for the treasure chest and we get back to school. Well, of course, Spencer, you automatically go in because it's your birthday. And who else is gonna join you to go in? Hazel, Hazel, when we get back to school, I'll write your name on my list. You get to go in my treasure chest. Congratulations, Hazel. And I will pick another name next week. Have a great day learning. Happy Friday, fun Friday, yes. And have fun playing because it's fun Friday and you get that extra 15 minutes of play. All right, miss you guys. Talk to you on Monday. Bye.